Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So today we are going to be doing this super, not necessarily super colorful, but more colorful than what we've been doing. I really needed some color in my life, so that's what we did today. We got some purple going on, a little bit of pink, and I really love the way that this turned out and I hope you guys do too. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and give this a video a video give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it but I will see you guys next time my husband and little boy just got home so I'm gonna go watch a movie with them and you guys enjoy this video and I will catch you next time bye guys so today I think it is time we get into some colorful makeup it has been quite a while since we've done a colorful look here on this channel and today I am feeling it so much I just want to get some color in my life again so I've already got my base down on my face I've got the unique mineral touch liquid foundation and then to set that in place I've got the super BB insta ready powder by Physi physicians formula oh my gosh <laughs> and then in my brows I've got this elf brow pencil in the shade natural brown I started to say medium brown but it's not it's natural brown so that's what we've got going on so far now to go ahead and prime the eyes i'm gonna probably wiggle you guys around a little bit because my tripod is sitting on top of my primer drawer Yee. but today we're just going to use the nyx high definition eyeshadow base this one doesn't really have a whole lot of coverage to it but I like to apply my foundation over my eyes anyway because it gives me a little bit of extra coverage. So I'm just going to blend that in with a dampened beauty blender. And then I'm just going to set that in place with a creamy skin tone shadow. And that's just going to give us a really nice base to work with. Alright, so there you have that and we are ready to move on to actual eyeshadows. It has been quite a while since I got out my BH cosmetics palette this is the 26 color eyeshadow blush palette and it is called blushed neutrals mine's broken so it's going to be super easy to show you guys the colors that i'm using today i think we are going to start out i'm going to start out with putting a little bit of this blush into the crease that's going to be my transition shade and when it comes to makeup i like to avoid pretty much every rule that i can so even though that's a blush we're definitely using it for eyeshadow so i'm just going to put this all the way across the crease and blend it out in circular motions this one is not going to be super bright or anything it's not going to show up all that great which is the whole purpose of it it's just going to give the rest of the eyeshadows something to blend into i feel like i should zoom you in some more zoom 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 all right that's better whoa 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 i just got attacked by my brush and my brows uh were not that great today so sorry about that this one particularly is a little bit wonky but that is okay so once we've got it blended to about there i'm gonna take this purple shade right here again this one is a blush shade and I'm just going to use that same brush and pick it up on the very tip of it and push this into the outer corner at first. And then once most of the product is off of the brush, we'll start working it inwards. And I'm holding pretty far back on my brush because I don't want to have a whole lot of control over it. I want it to be very blown out. And I love that purple color. And I think for today's look, I'm going to keep most of the darkness on the outer corner instead of pulling it in like I normally do. I want to try something a little different today. We like trying new things here. <laughs> and when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I like to make sure that my eyes stay open the whole time so I can really see exactly where the shadow is going to be able to be seen from because my eyes are not necessarily that hooded, but towards this outer corner, they crease. The crease is kind of deeper out here. If that makes any sense that probably doesn't make any sense it makes sense in my head though but my color tends to disappear over here so I have to pull a lot of my color up a little bit higher these days it seems like the older I get the more higher I have to bring my eyeshadow I feel like my brow should have been longer today too I might end up having to fix those before the day is over with I still feel like I want this to go a little bit higher up here 
I think I like that better. We've got all this lid space. If you're like me, you've got a huge area from like here up to your brow bone to work with and you might as well not leave it blank. You might as well like fill it in and use it. <laughs> if it's gotta be there, it might as well be colorful, right? So now that that is blown out to the max, I'm going to pick up another brush. Oh my gosh, this brush right here. I wanted to tell you guys about this brush anyways. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them or not, but when you go to Family Dollar, it's in like a two-pack. And this brush right here, it's by LA Colors, which you guys know I absolutely love LA Colors. But it comes in a two-pack, and I think the other one is like just a flat blending brush, kind of like... Kind of like this guy right here. It's like the e.l.f. brush. But this blending brush is amazing. So I'm going to use it. And I'm going to pick up this really deep plum shade right here. And I'm going to pack that into the outer corner. This is going to make it a little bit more of a true purple. It's kind of pulling pink right now. But this purple right here has like just the right amount of pink and purple to me. To really pull this look together and this brush the ferrule sounds a little bit loose which that kind of does suck it does have a tendency to move around a little bit more than other brushes but for the price that you're gonna pay it works really really well I'm just gonna pick that pink shade up again that first shade that we used and I'm gonna put it right under the brow bone to kind of help bring all this down just a little bit now this shade isn't gonna be our brow bone highlight it's just going to be used to bring this all back down again. I'm going to highlight the brow bone in just a second with something that I think will pull it together even better. For the lid shade, I'm going to pick up the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to pick up this really pretty highlight shade right here. This is a really pretty pink shade. I will show you. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get a little swatch on the hand, shall we? Like... Oh my goodness, shimmering, glistening heaven. And I'm gonna use that wet, so to wet it a little bit, I'm gonna use the Mayron Mixing Liquid. This stuff is really good for mixing eyeshadows and pigments. It's, it just does a really good job of intensifying the colors. And you can also use it to make pretty much any eyeshadow you have into a liner. And typically when I use this stuff, I like to pour a little bit into a little container. That way I don't contaminate the whole thing because you can see this is a gigantic bottle that's going to last you a very long time. The expiration date is up to 30 months. So if you get your shadows and stuff mixed up in there, it's going to kind of ruin it and you'll have to buy another one and that's not no good you know so I just like to pour a little bit into a container dip my brush into it and then dip it into my shadow these shadows are actually pigmented enough that you don't have to wet them if you don't want to I just really like the extra kick that it gives them when they are wet so that's the only reason that I wet them if you don't want to wet them you definitely don't have to and then this is just a personal preference type thing but once I get most of it on there I go over it again with the dry shadow just to really intensify it. And this is also what I'm going to use to highlight the brow bone. I usually gear more towards golden shades for facial highlight, but when it comes to highlights on the eyes and shimmers on the eyes, I really, really love this pink shade. And then also from the Carly Bible palette, I'm going to pick up this really deep burgundy purple shade. And I'm going to once again just pack that onto the outer corner. And then I'm going to pick up the brush we started the whole shebang with and just go around this edge to blend it out one last time. And I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. This brush is actually too big. <laughs> for what I'm using it for, but whatever. I'm going to again pick up the original brush and just go around the edge to soften it. On my waterline, I'm gonna use Black Tanzanite by Sonia Kashuk. This is one of my all-time favorite eyeliners. For mascara, I'm gonna go with my usual Moodstruck Epic Mascara from Unique. Shameless self-promotion, guys. I sell this stuff. It is absolutely amazing. If you have not watched my review, you should definitely go check it out because it is such a good mascara. Like, look at them lashes, girl. You know you want them lashes. 
And the truly crazy part is that it's just one coat. This stuff has the absolute best formula. And you guys know I don't like to curl my lashes. And with this, I don't have to. All right, that's gonna be it for the eyes. Now I'm gonna do the rest of the face and I'll be right back. This is the finished look. I know it's not totally, completely colorful, but it's definitely more colorful than what I've been doing lately. And I've just really needed some color in my life again. Um, I used to always wear colorful makeup and I've missed it the last little bit. So it was really, really nice to get back into the color zone. I really hope you guys like this one and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and always be you. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.